Hey guys, how's it going? Andrew from Female Apps here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use your app to launch the mail app on your iPhone with a pre-composed email for the user to send. So what I've got here is a single view application already set up. So I'm just going to find a button from the Object Explorer in the bottom right. Just drag that on there and we're going to name it Send Email. Once that's done, head over to our assistant editor in the top right and holding in the control key, we're going to connect that up and create a new action called send email. So once you tap on that send email button, it's going to run this block of code here. So once you've done that, close that down, then head over to your viewcontrol.swift and let's code it up so you can send an email. So first of all, we need to do import message UI at the top to enable us to send an email. And after view controller, colon UI view controller, we need to add a comma, MF mail compose view controller delegate. And then once that's done, we'll add in our functions to send an email. So in send email, we'll just leave that blank for now. We're going to come back to it. First of all, we'll do the function configure mail controller. And that's going to output a MF mail compose view controller here. Do curly brackets. And this is going to set up our mail view controller. So do let mail composer vc equals mf mail compose view controller then we'll do mail composer vc dot mail composer delegate equals self then we'll do mail composer vc dot set to recipients and in here it takes an array of emails to send an email to. So I'll do andrew at cmuapps.com. And then finally, just the subject, we do mail composer vc dot set subject. And we'll do hello for the subject line. And for the body, we'll do mail composer vc dot set message body and the message body is going to be how are you doing and in the message body you can actually set it to take in html we're going to set it to false but let's just say you want to format your email with bold text different fonts maybe even some images you could put in the html code here so for example to bold it you'll do b high slash b for a bold text and as long as this is html flag is set as true it would read this as literal html but for this example we'll just leave it at false and finally at the end we need to return mail composer vc Okay, now after we've done that, we need to create another function called function show mail error. And this will show to the user if there's an error in launching a mail app, or if you try and run it on a simulator, you can't actually test this code out. So it will show this error instead. And I'll show you what I mean once we've completed the code. So do this, do let send mail error alert equals UI alert controller. Title is going to be could not send email. Message, we are going to do your device could not send email and preferred style as dot alert. And then we'll do let dismiss equals UI alert action. Then in brackets, do title, okay, style.default, and handle it as nil. 
and then we'll do send mail error alert dot add action dismiss so this is going to add a dismiss button to close down the alert and finally do self dot present and in here in the UI view controller we're going to add send mail error alert animated as true and completion as nil So that will show an error to the user if for whatever reason their phone isn't set up to send email or you can't access a mail app. And finally, we need to add the MF mail compose view controller delegate function, which is did finish with a result, which is this one here. And we're going to do controller dot dismiss animated as true and completion as nil. So this function is called, once you finish writing out the email and tap on send or cancel, it will then close down the mail app and return to our app here using this line of code. If you didn't have this line of code here, it would stay inside the mail app. And also if there's any errors returned, that will return in this parameter here, in which case you can then add special code to handle the errors depending on how you see fit. So finally, in our send email function, to send an email, we'll do let mail compose view controller equals configure mail controller. Then we'll do if mf mail compose view controller dot can send email if it can send an email, we're going to do self.present. In here, the view controller is going to be mail compose view controller, animated as true, completion as nil. Otherwise, if we can't send an email, we need to show the mail error in case the device cannot send an email. So let's run the app on a simulator at first, and then I'll sh run it on my actual phone and show you how it opens up the mail app. All right, so we've got our simulator open here, and a quick note is that the simulator does not support sending email. So if we try to send an email, we can see it comes up with an error here, no mail accounts. And finally, it comes up the error, could not send email. Your device could not send email that we created. So let's go OK and stop that and run it on my actual iPhone now. And I'll show you how it actually works. All right, so you can see here we have the app open on my iPhone. So if we tap send email, it opens up our mail client here. Can see the title hello for the subject. The two is Andrew at simlaps.com and it's got how are you doing. So we can click send or cancel. So I'm going to cancel out of that, delete the draft, and it goes straight back to our app once we're done either sending it email or canceling it. So that's how you can send an email from the user's device using their mail account. As long as they click send, that will go through. So this can be useful if you want to have your app provide some sort of feedback functionality whereby the user can send you an email, but you want the title to always be the same thing in the subject line and so on. So you can download the source code for this app below. Don't forget to subscribe and also check out our complete iOS course below.